Okay, it's raining outside, so what better day to change the oil in your truck in the garage? So, there's two ways to get to the oil filter on a 6.7 liter Cummins diesel. This is a 2500 4x4 2014. You can either go through the top by removing the air intake between the filter and the turbocharger or you can go in through the side like I'm going to do on the passenger side. Here's my uh, assembly. I use a Napa filter socket which works great. A little 3 8 inch Craftsman ratchet and a piece of I think it's half inch pipe just to use as an extension. Uh, three gallons of mobile Delvac 1300 dyno oil and one Mopar filter and a Lowe's cement mixing bucket which works really well except that I did get a little bit of splash over today so I drain it out leave the plug out and uh, let it drain for as long as you can stand it I warm the engine up to 140 degrees oil temperature uh, before I started and uh, loosen that up so that it breaks any vacuum in the uh, crankcase vent filter if there is. I've never noticed any difference but uh, if there is then that will take care of it. I use a magnet to retrieve my plug makes it a lot easier than sticking your hand in hot oil. Right there on the plug it says torque to 35 foot-pounds. So that's what we're going to do here when we get ready to install it. Now I'm taking the filter out. It looks a little tight because I've got that plastic bag in there to catch any oil that might drip. But it's not really that tight. The uh, socket works excellent. In fact, I used it to take off the Gorilla installation from the factory, which was super tight. But um, if the filter's been sitting there for 10 minutes or so, you're not going to have any kind of uh, leak when the seal breaks. So I just continue to uh, remove it and uh, she's just about loose there now to take it off by hand. So now all we need to do is just pull it out of there. Which we will do. Ziploc works okay, but I'm going to get one of those uh, Geno's plugs. That way I'll not have to worry about the Ziploc breaking or anything like that. I've got the oil filter out now, and you can see the hole there. For those that are interested in installing a block heater, there's the a block heater card rather, there's the block heater with that little black rubber cap on it. You can install it through the side there if you have the oil filter off. You can install it with the oil filter on if you got long enough arms. Um, so it's all cleaned up and ready to go. Those threads are very fine threads. You got to be careful when you screw in that oil filter on that you don't start it cross-threaded. It's very easy to tell because it won't make up a quarter of an inch. But uh, you don't want to keep keep going with it. Just back it off. Sometimes it helps just kind of go in reverse till you feel the threads jump 
and then uh, turn it to the right and it'll go right on you just got to play around with it some I fill it with oil and I'll let it uh, let the oil work into the paper or the filter roll it around play with it I put just shy of a quarter oil in it there leave it a few inches down and uh, works out all right the ceram wrap works good uh, but I'm like I said I'm gonna get one of those Geno's plugs you can see the oils trying to leak out there but the uh, the saran wrap holds good if you put it on right if you leave little bubbles in it and stuff it'll leak but uh, I got it in there there it is I've got the saran wrap off of it it's sitting on the t on the towel that I use as a base down there and uh, got it started and making it up by hand I will put the wrench on it and snug it up make sure it's uh, tight not Cummins Gorilla tight but tight tight enough I torque the uh, pan bolt to 35 foot-pounds as it says on the plug I think the manual says 37 so there's a little discrepancy there but what's two pounds amongst friends two foot-pounds so we're ready to put the oil in it here in a minute there's my Lowe's cement pan that I use to drain with. The good thing about that pan is you can stick it under the oil filter and under the plug all at the same time so regardless of what's going on if you did get a leak from your oil filter that pan will catch it. But I did get a little splash over this time just a very little wouldn't notice it if I wasn't in the garage. This is the fun part here putting the oil in feels so good this is oil pressure right here let's see what happens okay so we got oil pressure pretty much instantaneously so that looks good and hope this helps somebody that's doing it for the first time adios